a dwarf with the strength of a giant, the Opel Corsa OPC with 192 horsepower. A Corsa was never so strong or so fast. Up to 225 kilometers an hour, it sets off like a rocket. As it sprints around the corner, the back wheel lifts, jumping for joy, perhaps. The sporty number is the latest from the in-house Opel OPC tuning team. On the north loop of the Nürburgring, engineers and race car drivers have taken the typically well-behaved Corsa from the Rüsselsheim factory and turned it into a pocket racer. Among the developers is racing ace Jockel Winkelhoek. It's important for a driver to get feedback directly from the car, what happens with the front axle, with the wheels. I have the feeling of sitting in the center of the car. That gives me safety. We had to make compromises when we, as race drivers, were setting up the car. The engineer's aim was also to consider comfort. We haven't just built a race car, but also a street car. Auch für, sag mal, für Komfort mit auf die Straße bringen müssen. Wir haben da nicht ein, sag ich mal, ein, ein, ein kompromissloses Rennauto gebaut, sondern das Fahrzeug wird auch ganz im normalen Straßenverkehr gefahren. The design of the souped-up Corsa is impressive. No excessive style elements, but an outright sporty shape that looks like it could have just been sculpted. At the sleek front, the triangle dominates. It's a style element that is, once again, demonstrated by the impressive tailpipe and the rear diffuser. The designers didn't even lose confidence with the rear spoiler design. It flaunts assertively at the edge and does its job. Blue brake units gleam through the impressive 17-inch aluminium rims. Shark fin vents feed the 1.6-liter engine so that at only 1.2 tons, the Corsa always has power to spare. The performance of the OPC is tested by someone with plenty of experience. Bernhard Riedel knows the track on Mallorca from rallies where he blazed through the Col de Soler at the wheel of a Porsche 911S. Although the 911 is nearly 40 years old, the Corsa shouldn't have a chance against it. However, the expert's opinion is quite surprising. Here in the mountains, the Corsa is very fast. It takes all the curves easily. In a rally car, it takes a lot of work and effort to be as quick as the Corsa. Um annähernd gleich schnell zu sein. As fast as a rally tuned 911 and also trendy and practical. High gloss finish, sports steering wheel, aluminium trim, and here and there an OPC logo. The interior does justice for such a pocket racer. The bucket seats impress due to the excellent lateral support and allow the installation of racing seat belts. They also offer side airbags and, with easy entry, easy access to the back seat. The 285-litre boot capacity is more than many in this class. The wilder racing Corsa is just as practical as its better-behaved brothers. The only drawback of the Corsa OPC, the steering system, which is comfortable at speed, a bit shaky when running slowly. The statistics across the board are impressive. A Corsa has never been so fast. The price of 22,000 euros seems reasonable. Among the competing small but powerful cars, the Renault Clio Sport stands out. Some extra horsepower, slightly higher fuel consumption, but also a little bit more affordable. Opel Corsa OPC, a trendy, practical eye-catcher with race car genes. As a fun car, this little one is really big. <laughs>